is he great and mighty is the lord our god great and mighty is he lift up the banners let the anthem rise to christ our king great and mighty is the lord our god great and mighty is he you are the words and the music you are the song that i sing you are the melody you are the harmony praise to your name i bring you are the mighty god you are the holy lord you are the king of all kings now i return to you the song that you gave to me you are the song that i sing good morning my dear sisters and brothers good morning, good morning father. father this mass is offered for departed soul of paulos mv by teresia raj and family members we also pray for a soul of rosama thomas by jesse and family soul of sunny pv by mercy and family members and also for all souls in purgatory by sharin and family for special intention lakshmi for a marriage and for a job special intention lakshmi for a conversion of a mother and deliverance from all the evil place all our prayers and petitions in this holy eucharist let us begin the celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit yes sisters and brothers as we thanking god is for one more week that god has given to us heading up this precious week and the days that god continue to bless us as you're thanking him asking him let him not hold on to any of our sins let him give the forgiveness for all of us for everyone participating in the holy eucharist i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, plead your case before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord, and you enduring foundations of the earth, for the Lord has a controversy with his people. and he will contend with israel o my people what have i done to you in what have i wearied you answer me for i brought you up from the land of egypt and redeemed you from the house of bondage and i sent before you moses aaron and miriam with what shall i come before the lord and bow myself before god on high shall i come before him with burnt offerings with calves a year old 
Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response shall be, The one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. One, one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Gather my holy ones to me, who made covenant with me by sacrifice. The heaven proclaims his justice, for he, God, is the judge. Our response, to, to one, one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not take more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. Our response, to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips, you who despise correction and cast my words behind you? Our response? To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. You do this, and should I keep silence? Do you think I am like you? I accuse you, lay the charge before you. A sacrifice of praise gives me honor, and to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Our response? To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Today, harden not your heart, but listen to the voice of God. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, <coughs> we wish to see a sign from you. But he answered them, An evil, adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign shall be given to it except the sign of prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was there three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And behold, something greater than Jonah is here. The Queen of the South will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, something greater than Solomon is here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to your Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. God has shown to you and what Lord required of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Prophet Micah, chapter 6, verses 8. Dear sisters and brothers, today's liturgy makes us to understand what really God wants us from us. More than all our rituals, our sacrifice, all that he wants to do what God wants us to do. Produce the justice, be a people of righteous, 
and love and kindness to our fellow brothers and sisters and walk humbly in with God in the presence of God. This is what the Lord wants it. We might have heard Prophet Uzziah also saying, I don't want your sacrifices, but I need your mercy because God is merciful. Today in the scripture, especially in the gospel, gospel of Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 onwards, there we see the scribes and Pharisees and other the leaders that demand a sign from Jesus. Jesus used the word, you adulterous generation. Why? First of all, let us reflect on St. Paul's letter, the first Corinthians chapter 4 onwards we see. St. Paul speaks about the Corinth. The Corinth is a place where we have the rich and all business and everything trade will happen and even the sin will happen more there. Those are the people are Jewish as well as Gentile mixed people. Jewish are the one Israelites, Gentiles are the Greek people. The Jewish will always demand sign. It is their tradition, the authentication they want to know whether you are come from God or you are really a Jewish fellow and whatever you're saying is true. They always, the history speaks about them, they always demand for a proof. Whereas the Greek people will always demand for a wisdom. You see always the Greek, they have the background of all Socrates, Pluto, everybody. So just always demand for a wisdom, the knowledge. St. Paul says that more than your witness as well as your wisdom, God is greater than this because Jesus remained as a witness and we remain as a witness for him and God is the source of all the wisdom. So it is very philosophical and theological it is, he speaks about. But today, very clear words, Jesus speaks to each and every one of us. The Jewish people, they are asking a witness, an authentication from Jesus. As a tradition of Jews, they demand for a witness. There is no any good thing in getting angry with them. But why Jesus has to get angry in today's gospel, chapter 12, verses 38 and 39. Reason is this, because those are the people without seeing. An unknown person comes, they ask for a witness, authentication. But here, Jesus is there in the midst of them. Day-to-day -day life is living with them, the people of Genezareth and Capernaum, and all those people, the Tyre, were living there. In spite of seeing Jesus working wonders and miracles, they rejected Jesus. The reason? Because they feel insecure. They saw the Messiah has arrived. They knew it is Jesus is a Messiah. So they want at any cost to reject him, destroy him, because they saw he's just a mere mortal human like us. We have all the power and authority. Why don't we destroy him, kill him off? They didn't see behind him the messianic promise what God has given to him. Those days, the people from different part of the world, example, Nineveh, Nineveh, the present place, what we call Iran, Iraq, Baghdad. From that place, the pagans were living. From there, the rich people were living in Nineveh place. God sent Jonah there. You can refer to book of Jonah, chapter 3, verses 7 onwards. There, Jonah goes and proclaims the word of God, and people receive the word of God with fear and receive the repentance. Just receiving the word of God, they believed and received the repentance and received the blessing from God. The second we see, the first Kings chapter 10 verses 1 onwards, the wisdom of Solomon. The wisdom is God himself in the beginning we see. Whatever wisdom we have in this world, it's not a wisdom of God. It's a wisdom of this world, it's perishable. And the wisdom is wisdom of God, the fear of God. King Solomon received this wisdom to admire this wisdom, to experience this wisdom, Queen of Sheba. She comes all the way from Africa. The other part could be we consider even Asian African can consider this. She went all the way to Israel to learn about him and she wants experience. And after seeing that, she glorified the God whom she has not known. And that kind of things God has given these people. But Israelites, every day, day to day, they were praying to Messiah and for Messiah. And Messiah has come in the midst of them, working all the wonders and miracles. Everything is doing. Feeding the poor. Whatever Prophet Isaiah said, it's happening in Jesus. Whatever Prophet Micah said, it's happening in Jesus. He came from Bethlehem. But still, they reject him. 
they are asking God himself authentication. And Jesus says, your adulterous generation. The word adulterous is very often used in the scripture from the Genesis till the Revelation. The reason is this, they are spiritual adulterate people. Spiritual adult people. They are exploiting the spirituality. They're destroying the spirituality and they're adding up evil to the spirituality itself. That's what adulterate generation, the spiritual adulterate generation. It's like adding up the evil, adding up poison to the milk of mother. It is, that's what the people are doing. It. The pure and holy is a Holy Spirit. That's what we see book of James. He speaks in his chapter 2 and 3. He speaks about, he says, the first and most, what is this Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit is purity. Holy Spirit is purity. Then when comes the patience, the knowledge, the wisdom, everything. The Holy Spirit is purity and the Holy Spirit is spirit of God himself. So my dear sisters and brothers, that's very important for us. We too, whenever we come, God, give me a sign. Show me, God, tomorrow this should happen like this. Show me, God, my son should do like this. My daughter should like this. My marriage should happen like this. Everything, we put a condition to God. We ask for a witness. Are we any time put in front of Jesus and said, your will be done as you wish, so it happened. He knows what is the best and good for us. Today, let us contemplate on the word of God. Let us not make God to get angry, God to get disturbed towards our love. Always surrender ourselves, ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and help us. Very specifically, look at the holy wisdom and ask the holy wisdom to give the gift of the help to have a discernment in God and to do the will of God and receive whatever God has placed for us. And also let us thank God for the gift of our Savior Jesus into our life, into our family. Because many are called, only few are chosen. People may read Bible, but they may not have a faith. People may have come to church, but they may not see God. People may receive the body of Jesus, but they may not become one with Christ. But today, we need to pray for it. Each and every act, each and every grace that God has given to us should have some purpose. When it has some purpose, it should fulfill in us, provided we cooperate with God. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For three goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For three goodness, we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine, work of our human hands. It will become for us our spiritual ring. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God the Almighty Father. May the, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offering of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants. Make it holy as your blessed gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of your praise, Yet our thanks in itself your gift, since our praises had nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. So in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, we joy, we proclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity, together Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let's remember all our departed brothers, sisters, and parents, and family. Very especially, Lord, remember the souls that have been offered during the Holy Eucharist. Very especially we pray for the departed soul of Paulo's MV, departed soul of Sunny PV, soul of Rosama Thomas, and all souls in purgatory offered by Sharon and family. Lord, we especially remember all the departed ones from our families and communities, very especially those who are in purgatory, the souls have been not remembered. We pray for soul of Reverend Father A.S. Anthony Sami, the soul of George Victoria, the soul of Anthony Souza and all the departed ones. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the families all gathered here. Have mercy on the families who are participating in the Holy Eucharist through the live channels and spiritually receiving your holy body and blood. Lord, we pray for everyone. We pray for all those who ask us to pray to whom we promise our prayers. Those who are sick, those who are under treatment, those who are hospitalized, have mercy, Lord, in people. Those who are poor, those who have got the difficulties, deliver them, Lord. Have mercy on your people. Have mercy on all we pray, especially those who offered the intention of blessing for a marriage and delivering from all kinds of evil of a mother conversion. We also pray for all those who ask us to pray. And also we place our prayers and petitions of families all gathered. That with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, his spouse, the blessed apostles, all the saints, St. Anthony, St. Francis, Xavier, we are pleased with throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs with eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil gracious the grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as away the blessed hope and the coming of our savior lord jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ at your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not in our sins but in the faith of your church graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen peace of our lord jesus be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other a sign of peace lamp of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamp of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamp of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace This is God the truly living son of God whom the Jewish rejected but he gave himself to all of us let us welcome him believe in him trust in him happy are those called to the supper of this living God Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life amen act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen
the Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Let us pray. Graciously be present, your people, we pray, O Lord. Lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Anthony. O, o loving St. Anthony, Anthony, you were a special witness of God's power and loving imitator of Jesus, who received from God the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor. We lift up our prayers to you. We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Go, the Mass is ended. Children of the Lord, take His word to others. As you've heard it spoken to you, go the masses ended.